Hey folks, Gary Bunzer here, the RV Doctor. I'm with Chuck Woodbury, editor of RVTravel.com. And Chuck, you are a seasoned RVer. I've known you for a number of years now. You have a passion for RVing. Other people coming into this industry for the first time, what tips could you give them about traveling in an RV or how to get ready to even travel in an RV? Ooh, well, uh, first of all, they've got to just decide they're going to do it or they're interested in it. And uh, um, I always tell people, uh, you know, look for a, an RV show that's coming up because that's a great place to go and get an overall view of what's available. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, you can't do better than that. You can run around to RV dealers, which is fine. But if there's an RV show, like the Seattle RV show here in the Northwest, which is coming up soon. Go to the show. Go to the show because one day, I mean, some people will go for the first day and then they'll, you know, they'll go, wow, that's, this is, a lot more than I thought and in terms of what RVs are. I mean, people don't really know. Beginners don't understand. I mean, we get questions from our readers. They don't know that there's, you know, you mean there's hot water? You mean running water when you're not hooked up? There's electricity. There's a toilet in there? There's a generator. You can run your microwave. There's a toilet. There's a shower that you can take every day, even when you're not hooked up. Um, so that's what you learn in an RV show. You find that these little for people that just want to go camping and they want to, you know, they, they've been on in a tent for a long, long time and they're tired of the waking up a little, you know, feeling a little rock indentation sure, on their side. Sure. And they, uh, they go to find one of these little 15 foot travel traders. that has got a little shower. It's tiny. You might have to sit down in it, but you know, you get dirty, you can take a shower sure. and, and there's a bathroom there. You don't have to be looking when you're traveling for McDonald's and, and exactly. wherever, wherever uh, rest areas, which, you know, you, they're getting closed all the time. And you can always upgrade if you want. You know, if you need a bigger, find out your family needs a bigger coach, you can always go get a bigger coach and retain some of that value as a trade-in value. I think that's what people do. I yeah. mean, they're gonna, pe most people are going to buy an RV, you know, several times in their life. Absolutely. Four or five times is pretty typical. Now, a lot of tra people take vacations, obviously, or tailgate in an RV, but there's many other uses for an RV. I know personally of a bunch of people that run a business out of their RV. You've done that for many years, running, running your businesses mm -hmm. as you travel as well as when you're at home. But how many different uses do you think an RV really has in this industry? You know, there's sort of like camping and RVing. They're, they're, camping is going out and being with nature. Um, we're lucky in RVs that we can go out and have the comforts, but we can still go outdoors. We can hike all day. Um, you know, I love being down on the Oregon coast in bad weather mm. and being in one of those beautiful Oregon state parks. And you're in there, you got the heater going, you're warm, you made your hot chocolate or your coffee in my case, and you say, let's, let's just go down to the beach. And you get out and the wind's blowing and you walk on the little trail down to the, <laughs> and it's, you know, it's really foul weather, maybe a little rain. And yet it's, you know, it has its beauty. Uh, very few people will be out. You have a lot of you know, privacy. Right. Then you walk back and you open the door in that RV and it's nice and toasty warm. <laughs> <laughs> you take off your jacket. Maybe you hear the, the rain on the roof, which is kind of, to me, it's kind of soothing. Um, so, you know, RVs aren't just for summer uh, going to national parks. That, that is a big part of it. Mm -hmm. They're for people, like you say, who uh, live in them and run a business or just live in them full time. There, I don't know how many full time Full time RVs. RVing is big now. These are the people that years ago would have, bought a mountain, that would have bought a mountain cabin mm -hmm. in one place or, uh, you know, or at the beach. Right. But now with an RV, they can be at the beach one day, they can go to the mountains, they can go down to the desert in the winter, which a lot of people do from the well, northwest. The road is open. I mean, it's endless, really. You could just take as many turnoffs as you want uh, or to get from point A to point B in a rapid fashion and still enjoy the lifestyle. Yeah. So I think it's just, uh, it, it's basically the best of everything that you could possibly have for uh, those types of expenditures for your for your leisure travel. I just think it's the best way to and go. And it's, you know, and if you want to, people say to me all the time, you know, why don't you just stay in hotels and, and have a car? Well, you know, that's that's okay. But I can tell you that on my recent trip, which was over four months, if I were staying at, unpacking and packing every day, staying in hotels, eating restaurant food, I would have, I would have been so tired after been two weeks. Sure, sure. But to have everything there, loaded up your favorite clothes, um, your basic clothes, you know, you don't usually bring everything you got at home, but you have your favorite stuff. Uh, I take my clothes that are kind of, you know, have their day of a favorite shirt that I just love. Mm -hmm. 
and you know you can't really wear it around town anymore but, but you know when you get out in a national park who's looking <laughs> and i can wear my favorite shirt again so that's exactly right. so RVing is just, it can be anything. It's camping, it's, it's living in it, it's running a business. Uh, there's a huge group of people out there who are called work campers. And what they do is they travel around the country. Amazon.com hires thousands and thousands of RVers every winter uh, holiday season. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's a big beet harvest in the Midwest that apparently pays very well. And RVers will go up into Michigan or Wisconsin, I'm not sure exactly where it is, and they'll work for two or three weeks, make quite a bit of money. Sure. And that'll pay for their RVing for the rest of the year. Absolutely. So, and then young people, you know, will buy them for vacations. Um, kids absolutely love RVing. When my daughter was two and a half, we took her around the, the United States for, it was about four months, and she, to this day, in her mid-twenties, loves to get in the <laughs> RV. It's one of her favorite things. That was one of my favorite trips, too. Uh, you know, I was raised in Florida, and my sister and I, along with my mom and dad, we traveled up the eastern seaboard to the uh, New York's World's Fair mm -hmm. in an RV. And obviously, you fall in love with that kind of a feeling of being out in nature. You, you can have, it's very pet friendly. You have your dog with you, mm -hmm. your cat with you. No matter where you go, you can take your whole family, including the pets. So it's just a, a wonderful way to travel for that family cohesiveness that uh, we seem to be lacking a lot these days. So I think it's a very, very beneficial thing. Yeah, I think that the thing about RVing with kids is really important. Kids, it's such an education. You know, there are a lot of people that have homeschooled their kids, taken them off for a year, and the education you can get going oh, around the United I States. I can only imagine. That's, that had to have been wonderful. They'll never forget it. Yeah. And, and then pets. Half of our readers, and I don't know, 40% of all our readers have a, have a dog with mm -hmm. them or maybe a cat. I mean, mm -hmm. I've seen people with parrots and rabbits. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it does, it's... I won't tell you about the, the rattlesnake I saw at an RV. No, you know, I want to talk about no, that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, so you can bring your pet, and how can you do that in, you know, in plan hotel space? You can't space do it in a hotel. It, it, you just, no. It's not feasible. So they're with you all the time. They love it. And um, so really, uh, in RVing, you have a very flexible, wonderful life where the scene out your window is going to change whenever you move, and you just uh, can't say enough about there that. There you go, folks. Why should you RV? We just heard it from the expert.